I'm Riley from Akinda Sewing and in this video I'm going to show you how to combine designs on your F540E. If you're wanting to experiment with the built-in designs and fonts on your F540E then combining designs is a great way to get unique design combos. This is the design that we'll be creating today and I'm going to show you exactly how I get there. So I'm just going to start by clearing this design. So firstly I'm going to find the shield frame. So go to this icon here and then tap on the shield shape. And then I know it's on the, ooh, the third page and it's number nine. So I'm gonna tap on that one and it's gonna come up here on the left of the screen. Once you're happy with that one, you press set and that's gonna bring it into our edit menu. And I'm going to resize it while I'm here. So I'll tap size. And I'm gonna make it as big as possible. So that fills my screen out nicely. I'm now gonna find the space themed design with the rockets and the planets. So I'm going to hit add down the bottom in that purple banner and I know that the space design is under this menu here and I know that it's item number 25. So I'm going to scroll until I get number 25, tap on it and hit set. Now that's brought that into our edit screen and I'm just going to resize it. So I'm going to go into size and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger just so it doesn't touch the frame. I'm also going to move it upwards a little bit because I am about to put text above and below it. So I want to make sure that there's enough room for that text. All right, and then to add text, you're just going to hit add again. This time I'm going to go into the fonts menu, this one here. And I'm going to use this font here, number four. I'm going to click on it. Now my first line of text is going to be shoot four and I want a capital S for the start of that. So I'll pop in a capital S. Now your machine by default will set your text size to large and I know that won't fit in my frame. So I'm just going to change it to medium before I continue. But once you've done that, you can go ahead and type out the rest of your words. Then once you've done that, you can press set and that's gonna take it back into your edit menu. I'm gonna move this one up to the top. Right, just like that. And then you can do the same thing for your second line of text, which is going to be the stars. Once I've imported that second line of text in, I'm just gonna move it down to the bottom making sure that it is below the rocket design, but it is not over the top of the shield down the bottom. Once you're happy with how your design looks, you can hit edit end in the bottom right hand corner. That'll take you to this screen where you can change the position of all of your designs at once. Since my designs pretty much fill the hoop, they're not really going to go anywhere. But once you're happy with the positioning, you can hit embroidery again in the bottom right hand corner. And then this screen will show you the total stitch count, the time it's going to take to stitch out the design and the color sequence. Now you can put your hoop in and start stitching. how you combine designs on your F540E. Now you can do this with any designs, even ones that you've imported via Wi-Fi or USB. And if you want to know more, make sure to check out our other videos on the F540E. Happy embroidering!